welcome to Mimi's Mixed Bag. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first video of mine, I encourage you to check out my channel. I have hundreds and hundreds of seasonal projects and little gift ideas, and surely you'll find something you like. So today I'm bringing you my last Christmas project of the year. Now that December is here, something's got to give. Crafting and making projects has got to take a back seat for a few weeks. I don't know about your area of the country, but the Little Debbie Christmas tree cake craze is, uh, is everywhere. You're seeing it in jewelry and t-shirts and door hangers. And I just thought it'd be fun to make a Little Debbie themed banner for my den. So I'm gonna take a couple products from the Dollar Tree and create my Little Debbie banner. So let's go to my craft table and let me show you how to make it. All right, friends, welcome to my craft table. Now, let me, let me show you the two items that I picked up to make this banner. Each package has eight trees and eight snowflakes. So depending on the size of your banner, you could probably get two banners out of these two packages. So I've got the little wooden Christmas trees and I've got the little wooden uh, snowflakes. Now, I really believe these snowflakes came from Family Dollar. I'm not exactly sure, but the packages look different. I'm thinking that's maybe what I did. But nonetheless, little wooden trees trees and little wooden snowflakes are super easy to find just about any craft or dollar store. All right, so what I need to do is these trees aren't exactly the shape of the little Debbie. They're close. You know, there's three tiers and the base of the tree is a little narrow, but I think once it's painted, there'll be no question that it's a little Debbie cake. And I need to snip off that star on the top of the trees. Now these wood trees are so thin you could probably just use some old craft scissors that you used to cut with but I found that these jewelry nippers or these little wire nippers they work pretty well and what I end up with is kind of a pointed Christmas tree and then I stick that thin wood in my corner rounder and just snip it. But these are so thin, you could probably just take your scissors and round the top of the Christmas tree. I just didn't want it super pointy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all my trees and all my snowflakes white. All right, before I paint my Christmas trees, I really wanted to show you real quick um, how easy it is to nip off the star of these little wooden trees if you don't have the same tools I have. You know, you can just take your scissors. That's how easy it cuts i mean it's almost like chipboard and then take a piece of sandpaper and round the edge and you will get the same look i have even if you don't have the nippers and the corner rounders just as good or better so i'll paint them all and i'll be back All right, I've got my trees and my snowflakes painted now. I got them front and back. Now, I wasn't sure if you could tell when I speeded up the painting part that be sure and paint the sides of your trees. The snowflakes are pretty thin that I didn't worry about that. You know, these trees are laser cut and they're actually burnt into shape. And so it does have a brown brownish edge on the side. It'll just give you a whole lot better look on the side. Now, I want my trees and my snowflakes to be facing forward at all times. So I punched two holes in the top of my tree. And on the snowflakes, I already had a hole in one side and I just punched a hole on the other. Like I said before, these are so thin, you could use some kind of crafting piercing tool. I just happen to have, you know, a really small crop a dial that will punch through anything and it makes little bitty holes. If you only put one hole, they might twirl on you and I don't want mine to twirl. I want them to be facing forward all times. All right, so now I'm going to put a little detail on the snowflakes. I'm just gonna move these trees out of the way. And I love to craft with Sharpies and things. I have a glitter marker here. If you had some kind of metallic Sharpie or some glitter glue, I have a Wink of Stella pen. You know, you could just leave them white if you wanted to, but I wanted to put a little bit of detail on them. So I'm going to go through all my snowflakes and put like just like a little marker detail and then go back with some glitter. I'm just kind of tracing the shape of the snowflake and it just gives them a cute little detail and they'll show up better. 
pull, pull that up so you can see just a simple little metallic marker or whatever you got so i'm going to finish those out now for the trees all of them have you know a red stripe icing now you could certainly use a wide sharpie marker and it will work you may have to go over it two or three times to get the coverage that you want but you will get the best look with the red paint pen so i'm just going to do little squiggle lines on the trees and then i'm going to use a green sharpie marker to make the little confetti dots they're not dots they're little rectangles let me just do one with you to show you that there is no right or wrong way i looked and every tree is different so i'm just going to start at the top and try to get six lines in And then my sixth one may be down here, just to do it like that. Like so. Now, you could string this up with ribbon, whatever you got. I'm going to use some of the clear stretch cord. You buy this at the jewelry department at Walmart. I sometimes like to use this really thick, stretchy cord because it doesn't take away from your banner, whatever you're doing. And it almost just disappears once you hang it up. I think the but finishing out of this banner is going to be simple enough where you can see exactly what I did. So I'm going to finish the wood pieces out spray them with a little clear spray paint to seal them and hang it up and show you what it looks like all right i've got my banner hung up and i decided to hang it in my kitchen i just thought the theme of it kind of fit better in the kitchen it goes along with my gingerbread themed tree and just the color scheme and everything but with it hanging in front of these blinds it just needs a little something else so i went in my craft room and dug up some just some christmas color fabric cut some with some pinking shears and even ripped some and i'm going to make some little fabric tassels between the trees and the snowflakes and i think that might just give it the little pop of color it needs all right i've got some more light here on the window and wanted to tell you that i tied eight little strips of fabric between each christmas tree and snowflake i think it's just the little filler and color it needed